don't let sickle cell run me. I run sickle cell. 43-year-old Sherelle Johnson is a force to be reckoned with. Hey, everyone, this is Sherelle, the sickle cell diva. She has lived with sickle cell anemia since she was six months old. But even her worst crisis doesn't keep her down. I was out of work for 30 days. I spent 15 days in the hospital. I had to have two different rounds of antibiotics, IV. I had three blood transfusions, and I got out, came home, rest, went back to work, and then I was kept home for my birthday. The inherited disease causes red blood cells to make a curved shape or sickle. Those cells can cause severe pain, potential organ damage, and even death. The way I describe a pain crisis, I say imagine a man inside of your arm, a little man, and he has a hammer. And he's just hammering at your bones and your joints over and over and over and over constantly. He does not stop at all. Many times, only blood transfusions can ease the pain. So as of right now, I'm sitting here getting a blood transfusion. That's why the American Red Cross created its new sickle cell initiative to target communities that need the most support. There are 100,000 people who are suffering from sickle cell disease. In particular, the African American community are disproportionately affected by this disease. Doctors say it can be easier to find a blood type match between black patients. So they are urging more African Americans to donate. We are helping save lives. When there is a donor, you are impacting not only lives, but your community as an African-American donor. It's imperative that people donate blood to help people like us with sickle cell. So when we are in the hospital and we desperately do need blood, we don't have to wait those two to three days. According to the Red Cross, there is still a blood shortage in the United States. So donating blood is more important than ever. And this essential gift gives people like Sherelle Johnson a better chance at a healthy life. Cheryl Burton, ABC7 Eyewitness News.